Hi, everyone. I'm coming to you this afternoon to remind you that the podcast episode is due by the end of this week. Uh, that would be by Friday, 4 p.m. Um, it was brought to my attention earlier today that I neglected to remind you in class yesterday that the assignment due date is coming up. So I wanted to rectify that this afternoon. I also wanted to take the opportunity just briefly to uh, remind you of the parameters and guidelines for this specific assignment, uh, just in case there are some of you who are still going to be recording your podcast episode. Um, in many ways, this assignment is fairly straightforward and doesn't require a great deal of prep, which is good uh, in case you're one of those students uh, or one of those pairs of students who are still going to be recording your podcast episode. What I'm looking for in a nutshell is an informed conversation about a film or episode of television that you watch together with one or two other students in the class. Uh, you watch that episode or that film, you then take out your iPhone, you go to voice messages, you go to the recorder app, you put that iPhone between you and your co-hosts and you record the conversation that you have about that film or episode of television that you've chosen to watch and then talk about together. Um, needless to say, our class uh, is dedicated to interrogating and analyzing representations of race, gender, and sexuality. So I am expecting that the conversation that you have with your fellow co-hosts also touches on those same issues of representation, um, broadly speaking. What I'm not expecting, however, is that you directly quote or reference or even paraphrase specific theoretical arguments or frameworks that we have been discussing uh, in quite specific terms in class. What I ideally would like to have happen in those conversations is that they are indirectly informed and enriched by some of those insights that you have gained in class so far. So I'm looking for an indirect sort of implicit way in which the past couple of weeks of you taking screen cultures and learning about and being exposed to these different frameworks for understanding how identity is represented in moving images, how that can be brought to bear on the types of conversations that you will have with your friends, with family, when you continue to watch movies and television shows in the future uh, and after this semester abroad and after this class has has ended. Um, that's it really in terms of my expectations. This is an informal conversation, doesn't need to be scripted. Um, it's a conversation that you have with one student in the class or with two students in the class. Um, if you have that conversation with just one student, then the podcast episode should be roughly 20 minutes in length. And again, I'm not going to fault you or take you to task or dock points if it's a little over or a little or a little under. If you decide to have two co-hosts, then I'm looking for that conversation to come in around 30 minutes. Um, and that's really, that's really it. Um, I would also encourage you, if you have not yet recorded the episode, um, episodes of television are very much on the table, right? Those are a little bit shorter than full-length feature films. So if you still need to complete this assignment, I can tell you that I'm fully caught up on Andor, on the new Lords of the Rings, Rings of Power show, on House of the Dragon, and I know or I've heard that those are shows that some of you are watching, and those are shows that very much center representations of identity as they are refracted and shaped by power and by hegemonic relationships. Those shows are really all about the ways in which power um, is organized and, and shapes and shapes our lives differently depending on our respective identities. So feel more than free to to have a conversation about an episode of television that you've that you've recently watched. Okay, that's it for me. If you have any 
more detailed questions about this assignment, feel free to let me know. You can leave a comment in the, in the comments section. Look at me, I'm like basically a YouTuber doing this. Um, or send me a message, of course. Okay, I hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing you in class again soon. Bye.